Hey guys, Mr. P here. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Hope you guys are well. The Treasure Hunter event is here and I'll be showing you guys locations and the farming route that I take. If you are enjoying my content and you would like to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really help out the channel and I highly appreciate it. Okay, let's get straight on with the video. Some of you guys might not be aware, but you can actually buy some mole miner pails from the train stations. And if you use the hard bargain free perk, you can actually get them a little bit cheaper. I mean, you save about two, three hundred caps, so it's definitely worth it. I normally go for the empty all nat mole miner pail. It's a better value for money. I would like to thank the Naked Vault Dweller for the posting this map up. Um, this is the map and the route that I will be taking in this video. And we will be heading to Ash Heap first. And the first location is Lewisburg. Now they are found in random locations. This is just where I found mine. I mean, they have a very distinctive sound, so you can't really miss them if you are close to one. Lake Reynolds is our second location. I found mine just by just standing in the middle. Very easy to find. The abandoned mine shaft free is our next location. And I just went up this cliffside here into that little metal tin building, little bunker, and he's just inside that. I know you can spawn to the side of it as well, so this is where I found my one. Next is the abandoned mineshaft too, this one's fairly simple to find, just walk around till you hear the noise. You can server hop as well if you don't find them in these locations. And you can find them on a private server, but public obviously you can server hop, so they respawn. Next is the AMS testing site. This one's fairly simple as well. Also to note, you can find more than one uh, mole miner in these locations. Next is the abandoned mine shaft one. And this guy I found just inside this little metal bunker up here. Another straightforward one. Next is the Mount Blair train yard. And this one was quite fun. They had quite a few, I've had quite a few on here. A lot of them have been on the roofs, but I found a couple on the ground also outside. So definitely have a check around on this one. Next up we have the Welch. Like the previous one, I found quite a few here as well. I know you can get up to like four or five here. So make sure you have a look around properly. On to Beckley. This one was just outside, on the outskirts. Next up we have the abandoned mine shaft 4. This one's another straightforward one, quite a small area, and he was just inside one of the garages. Camden Park, this is one of my favourite ones also. This guy was just standing by the bumper cars. I believe you can find more scattered around inside, more further in, but I found this one by the bumper cars. On to the Brim Quarry. This one was very straightforward. It's right at the beginning as you spawn in. You can find another one, I believe, as you go further into the quarry itself. And the final one in the ash heap is the abandoned mineshaft 5. This is another really simple one. Okay, on to the forest. First we want to go to the Tyler County Fairgrounds. This is quite a big place, 
So you do have to take your time and sort of look around. There's normally more than one here as well. Next up we've got the Grooves Family Cabin. This is another straightforward one, another small area. Let's go in, sort of blast everyone around here. Next on the list we've got Lady Janet's Soft Serve. I found this mole miner just outside one of the caravans. Fairly straightforward. Now when we go over to Morgantown Airport, I believe there's a couple that can spawn in this area so make sure you look around the outskirts as well. This one was just by the radio tower. Very straightforward. On to Morgantown itself. Now Morgantown's quite a big area also. Um, I found this one just as I entered Morgantown on the outskirts. But you can find quite a few sort of in the centre as well. Next we have the White Powder Winter Sports. Now this is kind of a quite easy one. It's just a singular building that I found mine. I believe you can only find it in the building as well. I've never actually seen one on the outside. Now Helvetia. Now these mo miners could spawn inside one of the buildings, but as long as you're just within the vicinity of them, you'll hear the distinct sound. So it's not too hard this one. On to Sutton. Now this one took probably about eight server hops until I finally found it. Um, he was on top of the roof. But I know he can spawn sort of in the central part as well. Next on the list we have the New River Gorge Resort. I think there's about um, six or seven cabins around this area so you do have to look in all the cabins. Luckily I found this one in the first cabin that I came to when you spawn in. But you do have to look around all the cabins at the back as well. Next we have the Alpine River Cabins. I think there's only about four cabins here, but this one was actually even near the cabin. This was by the sort of outhouse at the back, next to the cabin, so you do have to look around the outskirts on this one. The New River Gorge Bridge West. This one is underneath the bridge. I'm not sure if this one can spawn on top of the bridge, I've only ever seen it underneath the bridge. On to Silver Homestead Farm. This one's really not that hard to find, I've only ever seen this one by the house as soon as you spawn in. So it should be fairly straightforward. Next up is one of my favourites also, the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant. This one was down the bottom, just outside the garage, but you can find these on the roof as well. The Poseidon Energy plant. I found this one as soon as I spawned in, just in the middle part where all the mines are, so be careful of them. But you do have to check the silos as well because they can be in with the silos themselves. Next we have the Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse. This one's another straightforward one, a very small area. So all you have to do is walk inside, listen to the sound, kill them. If they not, don't spawn there, just re-log, server hop. Next up we have the new GAD. Don't let the map deceive you. There's no actual water surrounding this one. There's just little puddles on the floor. This one guy was inside one of the shacks. Fairly straightforward. Next we have the White Spring Golf Club. 
This one was in one of the buildings by the cafeteria. I believe he could also be downstairs also. I've never seen these outside the building though. We are now onto the Savage Divide and first up we have the Palace of the Winding Path. Now this can be a bit of a maze because sometimes you don't know whether he's upstairs or downstairs but if you hear the sound you'll definitely know he is here and you just have to look around really. Next on the list we have the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. This one's another fairly straightforward narrow path. You just walk in, have a look around and you should see them. I believe they can be inside the buildings as well, so just make sure you check them. Next we have the Autumn Acre Cabin. This is another small structure, fairly straightforward. Just keep server hopping until you manage to find him. Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. Same as uh, Sunny Top, very straightforward. You should hear them if you walk past the buildings, they might be in the buildings, so just keep an ear out for them ones. On to Beckwith Farm. Very straightforward one also. I found him next to one of the buildings, but he could also be by the outhouse as well. The National Isolated Radio Array. I found this one on top of the building. I believe he can be inside the building underneath. I've never actually found any by the actual uh, radio dish itself. But let me know in the comments if you guys have. The West Tech Research Centre. A lot of us guys have been here. This one's a fairly straightforward. Should be very familiar with this place. Look all around the West Tech Research Centre, around the back as well, and can be on top of the roof also. Onto the investigator's cabin. It's a very straightforward one. He could be behind the house as well, so make sure you go right up to the house to listen for any distinctive sounds. On to Huntersville. Look out for all the mutants around here, the surrounding the place. This one was right up the top of the road, once you go inside. Onto the South Mountain Lookout. This one could be a pain, just make sure you kill him before he gets spooked, otherwise he could end up running up the actual tower itself. And that can be a bit of a pain to chase him up there. Onto the Maya now. And first up we have the Nile Shallows. This guy was in the middle of the lake by the tree. Fairly straightforward as you spawn in that one. Secondly we have the Thunder Mountain Power Plant. The power plants seem to yield quite a few of them so make sure you check all around the plant. I found this one as I spawned in at the beginning but if you go deeper in I'm sure you'll find more as well. Onto Berkeley Springs. Another decent sized area. This one was in the sort of centre of the map. But make sure you check all the buildings around the outside that you can access. Next up we have the Harper's Ferry. I find mine spawned inside the church. So I just killed him inside here, but I reckon there are others around. I've not actually explored this area myself properly yet. Next we have the treetops. Now I find mine just as I spawned in, just below the big tree that you climb up. I'm not sure if you can actually find any at the top there. And last but not least, the cranberry bog. First up we have Kerwood Mine. This guy is very simple, as soon as you spawn in he could just be wandering outside the mine, just keep serve up until you manage to find him. On to Firebase Major, right next to it. Really straightforward, I'd stand on top of the tent, just have a little look around and there he was. Another Firebase, Firebase LT. This guy, same again, just outside one of the tents. I 
onto the bootlegger's shack. This guy was at the back of one of the shacks. Next we have the abandoned bog town. Now this is a workshop so you can't actually spawn in the town itself. But there are spawn points right near it anyway so it's not too much of a problem. Next we have the Cranberry Glade. Now this is one of the harder ones. Um, I was quite lucky to find mine at the beginning of the glade, but sometimes you will have to go inside and just listen out for sounds because he'll be hiding in the grass and stuff. We now have the Flooded Train Yard. This is quite a big area, but if you jump on top of the trains, you might be able to spot them, but I found mine in one of the sort of train garages. Be careful of all the other enemies around. And uh, last but not least, we have the Survey Camp Alpha. Like the other camp ones before, this guy was just hiding inside a tent. Really easy, this one. And that is it, guys. Hope you guys managed to get lucky. Remember to put, take all your pails to the Tinkerer's Bench. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button, and you guys have a fantastic week.